all right so welcome to asana again so this video i'm going to go over setting up maybe your personal tasks that you want to do to get started off with maybe a simple project for a personal project and then we're just going to look around certain things within asana some of the features that you can go through some of the things that you may want to be looking through like gantt charts and things like that but right now let's go ahead and get started I use, you can use Asana for your personal tasks as well as your per professional projects. Uh, but this particular video, we're just going to talk about Asana in general, the beginning part of it. When you first log in, this is what you're going to see in Asana environment. This is a desktop version of it, or actually it's the web version of it. You can download desktop version as well, and you can also download it on your phone. I usually have all three versions, so that way I can have multiple things open to see what my tasks are. But if you look to your left, you have your home button like this, and if you open up your left pane, then you can see home, my task inbox, reporting, portfolio, and goals. If I go to home, this is what will populate. And usually if you do have projects, then you're going to have it here. You can also add your favorites to it, where you can pretty much have tiles of your favorite projects or a quick way to get to your projects. And then if you look at your tasks, these will name what tasks are available for you. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this, uh, these tasks. If you click, click them here, or well, actually they don't have them. Uh, you should be able to delete. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this section and delete that section and I'll delete that section. Uh, this is what your task is going to bring. Whatever the task that has been assigned to you will populate here. And inbox is more like a communication of what's been updated on what task or what projects and you'll be able to knock it out or you'll be able to see which ones you need to pay attention to okay and you got your reporting purposes portfolio and goals we can talk about that later well we can add members here workspace uh, general workspace for now um, it may be your I don't know maybe you're with the marketing uh, team workspace okay whatever it may be okay and then you can invite your teammates here I don't really have anybody so if we have Joe Joe at Joe.com you can actually invite Joe then we can name the project that we want to invite them to and send a message and it should invite them to this particular workspace here you'll notice there's an admin console which uh, if you have the admin rights then you could do certain things like members and whatnot you can also uh, go over to your uh, settings like here you can do workspace name uh, you could convert to organization uh, those are more for if you do have the admin rights you can control certain things we're gonna instead of our uh, admin console we're going to click back over to your space here if we look first thing you should be doing is your private or profile setting so you can upload your pictures and do whatever you need to you can create your or actually put your name and I may just say I'm the project manager and department team I'm gonna go ahead and just say uh, what were we marketing department is what we decided and you can put your email address which you notice is grayed out because my email address is already there and you can put whatever message you want to and then you save changes and that should do it and if you actually put your picture on it your picture will populate as well that's the first thing you should do because when you work in asana that you want to be able to let your teammates know who you are okay so we got done with the profile settings we know there's admin console which is a whole different new um, video on that but let's go ahead and go with like setting something simple like a personal project quote unquote so I'm gonna go ahead here at home if I go here I can actually go to project plan or new project so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new project let's go ahead and start by using a blank project but you can also use a template if you do have a template set where in my case our company actually 
we do have a template um, set for our life cycle or project life cycle so that way most people are is pre-populated with tasks and whatnot so that way you can just fill in the blanks and be able to follow exact same cycle for every project that we have but this one we're going to use like a personal project so let's go ahead and go with the blank project and let's uh what do we want to do let's just say we're going to build a shed right that's my personal stuff build shed and then public to my workspace private to project members or private to me this one most likely i'm just going to go ahead and do it to private to me because it is my personal but i'm just going to leave it for now for all intended purposes and we can uh what do you want default view to be you want it to be list or board timeline or calendar right so list is just basically a list of tasks that needs to be done just straight up and down and then board you're talking more like a kanban board where you can move project statuses along the way as you finish certain things and then timeline shows you when they are due which is often referred to as gantt chart right now we'll just go ahead and go with the list just selecting list doesn't mean you cannot see them in different form or views we're going to default it with list view and we'll just go ahead and create project then what's going to happen is this is what you're going to run into with no task it's now a build a shed project what are some of the things that I need to do? I'm basically just going to go through different way of building shed. What do I need to do? I'm just going to add a bunch of tasks. What I need to do. Maybe I need to paint the shed, right? Paint outside, uh, build walls, flooring finish, roof, hang door, framing for the entire thing, shingles, roof shingles. I uh, would we'll maybe run some electricity, electric uh, city, possibly, or maybe we'll do solar, whatever. I'm just making these things up as we go. How about like uh, ground work? Ground slash foundation. Yeah. So let's just say this is what I need, right? Now we can pretty much say, how does it go in order? And... And which one would actually be like the first or last thing to do or whatever, right? So I think personally painting outside is probably your last. You can actually move it, drag and just drop it uh, right here. And then ground floor and foundation is probably first thing to do. Finishing floor, I would say is towards the end. Uh, framing is probably right after ground and foundation and then hanging door is probably close to end as well uh, electric you're okay you're gonna have to run I think um, I'm not sure maybe you could run it before and after the roof but definitely roof goes in after walls uh, def okay so electricity eh, let's whatever I don't know how to build a shed so we're just going to call it electricity third thing, right? So what's the last thing we want to do is paint outside. Pretty much closes out our um, project or personal project, right? So what we can do is we can actually set a date. Uh, I can assign the tasks here. We're going to, since I only got one member, we're going to just assign them all to Joe, right? Um, so Joe is going to take care of everything. But usually on a project, you get so many different members and maybe those uh, members, SME, subject matter experts, um, are in charge of different parts of the project. So, but for this, we'll just go ahead and assign Joe to every single project out there or every single phase of the project. And then we can also in Asana put a date on it like we want to do it, oh, let's say October 1st is our deadline, right? Or November 1st. So uh, we want to look at it and we can actually look back and say, okay, after finishing floor, can, uh, can we finish um, or after painting, can we finish the flooring or like how many days do we need to give before we start painting? Really? there's no dependency there right it doesn't matter when you finish floor versus painting outside but definitely i think painting outside 
you want your uh, built or the walls done pretty much so your walls have to be done before that your ground have to be done so some of these cannot be done by a certain time so uh, I'm just gonna say we can do the floor uh, by September 27th right that's plenty of time for us to but usually we have probably up to November 1st actually too well maybe November or October 31st right at least we get a day off but uh, and then hanging doors definitely has to be done before paint outside but it could probably again get done oh I don't know maybe get done towards latter part of November or September I'm sorry uh, actually you know what October we'll just make it October 20th and then we can also set the uh, roof shingles mm, no that was in October that was September right so we'll set the shingles for about 17 and then we need to oh it is okay oops we'll call it October 17th so we're we're finishing in November I keep thinking we're finishing in October okay so we have that we definitely need to get the roof done before we put on the shingles so we can put October 15th for our target date possibly okay and one enter and let's say we build a wall around October oh I don't know 10th electricity we can do it by October 5th and then framing so we're saying framing has to be done before yes it makes perfect sense so it needs to get before uh, done before that so hopefully by October 1st we could get done which means ground and foundation uh, it let's just say it takes a week to for the ground and foundation to settle and things like that so we're gonna call it a week before October 1st so more than likely we're looking for at the latest to be done by 24th so now we kind of know okay we need to do certain things and I can actually put subtasks in here if I need to or I could make each of these as a section here we can do subtask buy some concrete um, ground uh, oh, what do you call that whatever groundwork whatever it may be and then uh, we also just uh, okay we'll just call those two I don't really know how to build those things but these are also need to be done so we have to buy uh, concrete before a certain time and it gives us a good idea you can start to see okay if I need to get this done by September 24th I need to get some other things done before that time like my subtask and you notice like now we have a thing showing that it does have two subtasks to it okay yeah you should be able to see milestones within but maybe it's the free version that's not showing it and it'll show up as like a uh, diamond shape to be milestone but it's not showing let me add a uh, section we'll just call it uh, foundation and you know what I'll just move this guy over to under foundation and I'll move this section over well the free version apparently does not sh uh, have milestones and such but anyway now we kind of know that when we have to get the concrete purchased maybe somebody else can go purchase it and add dates to it and some of the groundwork has to be done before the concrete 
uh, those type of things we can actually set this is how you set up your personal projects and which works same way for all the projects as well really also another thing i want to share with you besides setting up a project like this with different phases i want to show you how to create just a personal tasks if you go to here if i can do create a new one and i'm just going to call this personal tasks and this is great for people like me who don't really uh who forgets a lot of things right so i'll go here and start creating tasks and i'm just going to name the task and I, I don't even put dates on it i mean some uh, some of them i will but some i won't so let's say for task that i want to do is uh, make um, asana admin vi video is one upload asana video report for work maybe homework for school if i'm actually attending school uh, certification uh, certification test or exam or something or um, another task uh, test 88 whatever it may be i have a whole this slew of tasks maybe for a certification exam i want to get it done by 25th of september and i could put dates on it and as i get finished with these um, i'm making a sign up video okay i'm just going to put a check mark meaning that i'm done with this so it will not show up on my task but the things that i'm not done with my task or i'm not done with it's going to show up so here's the all the tasks that i need to be done with this okay so if i go to my task and here i put all tasks which means it's not only the task that's not incomplete though even the ones that i've completed that is assigned to me are going to show up on this list let's go back to let's say personal tasks right personal tasks all of these did not show up because i wasn't assigned to it so if i am assigned to them and then now if we go to my task then all of a sudden i got all of them showing up this is how you set up personal tasks and projects in asana i hope that helps you get started and you can always use this to make it work for your professional projects as well it just you just have to know the process what are the steps of the project and assign dates and people according to that project i hope this video helped you on setting up or getting to know asana and then look for my other videos on asana admin i also want to talk about how we are able to use this as a chat room for our team members to work with each other and then we'll go over creating templates and maybe dive deeper into gantt chart and maybe kanban boards and inviting people and such things i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next video thanks